Hi Aries, it's Nick and Nala. This is your July 2020 love reading. I hope you guys are doing good. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, but you could also check out your other signs as well. Keep in mind these are general, so it may not always resonate with everybody, but you can always come back later on and maybe it'll make better sense then. Okay, and I will have the link to the extended below in the description box. And before we get started, I want to thank Keen for sponsoring this video. Keen offers personalized readings for those who have questions or seeking some clarity in certain areas of your life, such as love and relationships, which is what we focus on in this channel, or work, career, finances, dream interpretations, or just in general, I need some life or spiritual guidance like a lot of us may have needed this year. Um, Keen is an affordable way to meet new readers, and when you sign up, it's a very easy, simple process. You just fill out a brief question and it then pairs you with a list, long list of recommended psychics based on your specific needs. So there's one person for everyone. Um, and I had a reading with a gentleman that goes by Walks With Thunder. I believe his name is Andy. We have previously spoken a few months back. Um, you know, once you find a reader that you like, you have an opportunity, you can establish a connection with them. And it's nice because you can go back to them and talk with them again and chat. So that's pretty much what I did. Um, and so we talked about some things in my life and a specific situation and some family things and he gave me a look into what I could expect and what could be happening by the end of this year and also a lot of just reassurance about things that have been kind of heavy in my mind which I'm sure has been happening to a lot of us right just in general um, and also like certain people in my life and their roles and maybe how things have been changing and just a lot of you know stuff like that in general and um he he a lot of things like i already knew um going into it and it's just nice though to get confirmation nonetheless especially from someone who you know knows nothing about you has no ties to you so you know that their opinion is not really biased and i felt like he gave it to me just like raw and direct and he was very friendly but also to the point and just said everything so i felt very comfortable talking to him and it was really nice so yeah and they have a whole variety of different types of readers mediums psychics um you'll see different ratings and reviews about them so you can really choose the one you fit you feel is most fit for you and it's awesome because the readers are available 24 7 so there's always someone online it's really easy to schedule a reading and the sign up process is also really simple you can sign in once you have your sign up or register all you need is an email you create a password and you're ready to go and if you're new to keying your first five minutes with any reader is five dollars with my link below and once you're a user, Keen will send you unique discounts each week. This makes getting regular readings super affordable. So it's a really awesome way to get any questions that you have answered in a matter of seconds. So. so be sure to check them out and use my link below to get your first five minutes for only $5. Try Keen.com slash Nick Loves. And thank you once again to Keen for sponsoring this video. All right, so I'm going to be starting with a positive affirmation for you guys to practice this month and then an uh, oracle message and an overall emotion for you, overall emotion for the other person or future person you may be dealing with, okay? So let's start off with your positive affirmation. What affirmation do we have for my Aries, please, for July of 2020? Send them healing, love, happiness, abundance, please, for Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay, Aries, so you guys got I am gifted. I am gifted. So I want you guys to practice saying this every day if you can in the morning as you wake up and at night before you go to bed. I am gifted. And repeat it three times out loud and say it with a lot of intention like you really mean it and believe it, okay? I am gifted. All right, let's get an oracle message. Oracle message for Aries, a love message, please. Okay, so you guys got card number two in case that number means something to you and we got soulmate recognition. Soulmate recognition, beautiful. So you may be with a soulmate or maybe you are gonna be meeting a soulmate finally this month, okay? Let's see, what is your overall emotion? Overall emotion for Aries, please. Okay, other person. Okay, so for you guys, we got creative. So you're gonna be feeling imaginative, inventive, and expressive this month. 
So if you are an artist or your job is very creative, this is gonna be a good time for you. I think you're gonna have a lot of ideas flowing in and if you're starting a new hobby or just something new you're really interested in, I think this is gonna be a great month to do it because you're gonna find yourself really into it and maybe doing a lot, being really good at it as well because you are gifted, okay? And then with this person, we got trusting, reliant, dependent, believing. So this person really trusts in you. They may really believe in you and they, they, they feel like you have their back and I think they have your back as well. Or someone who's really trustworthy. All right, let's see. What's going on here for Aries, please? Give us clarity, insight, a clear message. What's going on with them July 2020? Regards to love for Aries, 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 please. Okay, with this other person, who are they? What are they all about? Okay, so on this side here, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you could have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart as well. And on this side for this person, we have the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Swords. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Pisces. Uh, Sun and Rising Venus, but of course it doesn't have to be any of those signs. It could be any sign like I always say, but they, they kind of have some of these qualities or some of these energies um, that they are carrying out at this moment, okay? So let's see. So we have two nines on the ground, one on your end, one on their end. So nine is a very spiritual number, one that teaches us a lot and encourages us to seek Higher levels, of, higher levels of consciousness and more awareness um, and move past any boundaries and blockages that may come our way. So for you, I feel like this connection here is very spiritual. It's There's a lesson and both of you are going to be learning a lot from each other. If you haven't already, maybe been learning a lot from each other. So I, I feel here that you are very independent. You do well for yourself. You don't rely on anyone else. I think that you are, you can stand on your own two feet very well and you do it pretty good. Um, I think maybe you've been taking good care of yourself. Maybe you're treating yourself or buying yourself something nice finally. If you haven't, if you haven't in a while, um, financially things are going to be looking up. I feel like you're, you're, whatever you do, your business, sales, customers, emails, calls, um, business partners, like everything's going to be flourishing and doing so much better. So financially, work, school, career finances, you're going to be doing a lot better and be receiving a lot of gifts, a lot of good karma. And at the same time, I feel like you are kind of like a teacher, um, whether that is your profession or not, it doesn't matter. I feel like you help teach others and you help spread good vibes, like positive energy to the world. Maybe just your presence, you just talking to people is what does that for them. Um, you're doing a good job at staying grounded, but also keeping your foot in the water and staying in tune with your emotions. Um, I think this is a really optimistic time for you, despite maybe what may be happening around you or in your personal life or around the world. I feel like you are kind of like a light for others and you're gonna have so much, so much like channeled into you, like a lot of creative ideas or, you know, new thing, new things or new projects, new stuff that you can get your hands onto. Um, so really dive into it this month. Like don't be afraid to start something new or, you know, get really creative and into your zone, and into your craft, because I feel like it's just gonna be like, poo, 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 like all over the place. So if you get an idea, write it on your phone or write it on a piece of paper if you can, or carry a notebook or just write it on your phone somewhere, because I feel like you're gonna be receiving a lot of good ideas. And also traveling. I think some of you may be traveling soon or be planning to travel in the future. Like you could be booking a flight either for this month or for like in the future. And I also feel like you are 
you're just doing so good. Like things are coming into full circle for you. Um, some of you are going to be receiving a large sum of money or maybe making a lot of money, but also be in a committed relationship. Some of you are going to be in getting into relationships this month or be meeting someone who really wants something serious as much as you want something serious and it's kind of on very compatible with you you guys are like on the same level or you complement each other's lifestyle which is always really nice and important so i feel here you could be dealing with someone who is like a big boss a ceo um you know entrepreneur or this person does really well for themselves they have a good career a good job whatever it is like they're really practical really logical um really dependable responsible organized they have a lot of great qualities this is someone who looks really good on paper like just they just have everything that you could look for and like any most things that you could that you would want in a person um i feel like they are someone who is very they know what they want and they go for it and they take action they are very like a serious type of person like they don't get involved in something unless there is substance there unless there is something that they feel like adds value to their life um they could be someone who has a dark sense of humor you know more serious facial expressions maybe could be older than you possibly if not they're just very mature very wise but i feel like for the most part very high vibrational good person like solid person overall and i also feel like they're really intuitive I feel like there's a softer side to them. They could be someone who's really private, maybe more conservative as well. And they keep things to themselves. Like when it comes to their emotions and feelings, they don't really just like put it out there right away. They kind of wait for the right time and they're more reserved. They're more quiet about it. But there is this like yin, yin and yang to them, this like dark, dark and light side to them, which I think makes things kind of interesting. But it takes time for you to get to that point. It, it takes time for you to see that side of them. Um, so they're multi-dimensional, um, have many layers to them, but for the most part, what you see is kind of what you get, but the more you get to know them and they open up different parts of themselves, the more you're going to like them because it's really interesting. And I also feel like they've had their fair share of ups and downs. Like this could be someone who dealt with a lot of stress, anxiety, depression, hard times, maybe health issues or mental health or people who were kind of like a drain, like energy vampires for them. Um, they could deal with sleeping issues or sleeping disorders or like sleep paralysis, or maybe they, you know, walk at night or something, or they have bad nightmares, uh, or they just have sleeping issues possibly. But if not, I feel like they're just, they are overcoming blockages um in their life like mentally like practically they're really good emotionally they're pretty good but sometimes they have a bad habit of getting too much in their head and letting that create bigger problems for them but i feel like they are learning how to overcome that and i feel like you are someone that can help kind of help help them navigate through that for them not like be like they're you know like mommy and like hold their hand but more like influence them in the best way possible but I feel like they really trust you and this could be possibly a soulmate. So this could be someone new or this could be someone you already know, okay? So we're gonna dive in deeper and extend it to get more information to see where their energy is at, what are they thinking, feeling when it comes to you, what they want you to know and what their next action move will be towards you. And then also your advice at the end, okay? So I would love for you guys to join me on there. The link will be below. Um, leave me a comment and if you did enjoy don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so that you never miss a reading and i wish you guys all the best i send you lots of love and i'll talk to you next tuesday because tuesday's for all the fire signs all right take care bye